welcome back to my channel it's your girl a zimna williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to the channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys it seems like the light has fallen for para in pleasant places yes because i mean was it just what yesterday that we we're celebrating him getting a brand new car today he was verified on twitter now you all might be like is it is that a big deal it is a big deal twitter is one of those places that is very hard for you to get verification like twitter verification to me is what more than instagram verification yes of course instagram verification people now buy it so i had but twitter verification like it depends on jack and elliot mox and whoever it is that's in charge to decide if you are worthy to be verified or not now para is the second shania i housemate to be verified now once again it tells us that verification on twitter doesn't have anything to do with your numbers i mean angel was on 50 something and was verified or 40 something if i'm not mistaken para is on 70 something also remembering that he lost this particular um twitter page and recently got it back and then verification a very big congratulations to him and of course angel did not waste any time to congratulate him i mean look at our toy car engineers and they are now the two verified people from the um shia eye season on twitter now while angel was celebrating this she now says she prays that her baby is nest now a lot of people were speculating who is your baby who is your baby later on she told us that it's j paul anyways that's not the gist the gist is while angel you know put out that tweet somebody went in her comment section or under her comments to tag cross and angel was not having it in fact angel was on a roll roll today she um responded to the person that said under my tweet because of what and the person and this other person responded and said because he's bay and you know it a lot of people were actually you know very very surprised that angel will respond to that now this other person commented and said lol when you were always laughing and posting him then we didn't hear anything why now he dumped your ass cross the big bus now angel quoted the tweet and replied and said i got bigger fish to fry little girl this person said how love turns hatred should be um should be a cause to study unbelievable or more and angel responded and said go study him now don't kill me that is d KL. This other person said, Auntie Rest, you do this whenever he stirs you of attention. The moment he starts giving you attention, you will forget you tweeted this and the person hissed. And Angel quoted this and said, Don't you have a birthday to donate for? You're gonna learn to leave me alone. She also went on to reply this fan that said, Angel, now just forget about this, people. I beg. And Angel said, No, they've been bullying me for nothing and I've had enough like just like the other person you know said how love turns to hatred real quick is what we humans cannot comprehend i mean some months down the line i mean we saw angel bringing food to cross and all that and now she doesn't even want him on that or the mention of his name under her post yes guys and lately like two or three two or three days now there's been this back and forth between cross nation and archangels we don't know what started this um back and forth between the two fan bases but we are suspecting or i am suspecting that it concerns a particular tweet that called cross some unprintable names which cross nation are saying that is from angels fans but that tweet i've seen it before to be very very honest the tweet that's causing all this wahala remember when you know cross got into the house i even said it here i remember i saw that tweet somebody tweeted that he is i don't want to call called him some kind of names that are really not nice and i came here and said this is what i saw i remember like when they just the first day i'll be the second day they got into the house so i don't know how that tweet resurfaced again cross nation people and archangel people what is going on between you two anyways whatever it is that is going on between cross and angel i cannot wait for the reunion which is like a few days or a few a week or a few days now till we get to know what exactly went on yes guys now before i forget a very big congratulations to emmanuel tomorrow hey emirates emirates told me isn't it 
it's gonna be what it's gonna be something else it's gonna be a movie well happy birthday to um emmanuel in advance also guys today emmanuel launched his body lab free me series um match they are all looking good, guys. If you are a fit fan person, you'll love going to the gym. You just, or maybe you're just a person that loves wearing casuals and all that. That merch is for you. Yes, guys, he launched it today and, you know, brought out the website. So if you want to go shop, make sure you check out Emmanuel's page on Instagram. Now, away from that, but still on Big Brother Niger reunion. So you all know one thing about reunions is... When we are about to see the reunion or when it's about to air, there's always this, you know, this person said, this person said, this is what happened. They threw shoe at Ebuka, they slap Ebuka, they use Ebuka cooking goose to plenty sources sha. Well, this one caught my attention and I told myself there is no way I wouldn't come here to share it with you guys. So this person tweeted this and said, guys, I hear they played some bedroom sex tapes of people collecting bola and giving heads in BB Niger house during the reunion. That's how the case of missing condoms was solved and why some housemates can't throw shades here because modding loading from June 2nd. Now, in as much as this really, really looks very spicy and, you know, I mean, as an appropriate and you want to believe this, I sincerely doubt they will play that. I mean, I doubt they will play that. Maybe off screen if they will at all play it, but I sincerely doubt because I don't think that whatever happens in the bathroom or in the restroom is meant to be aired to the public. So I sincerely doubt this gist, but whichever one shall, for the imagination, it's, it's, it's quite spicy. I mean, it's quite tasty for our proco people like us, but yeah, I don't believe this is true. Yes, guys, now away from that, guys. So actor Blossom Chukujeku got married today in Benin. Yes, guys, it was supposed to be like a low-key wedding, but thanks to bloggers like Juice Lover, and of course, also blogger SDK, you know, who came out to tell us or give us pictures of the wedding that is or that happened today. Now, you know, Nigerians, especially Nigerians on Twitter, they get bad mouth. So when they saw the bride, um, we all know this is Blossom Chikujeko's second marriage. Yes, guys, he got married to Maureen. I think that's her name. Yes, guys. And, you know, after five years, the marriage packed up and all that. A lot of people got talking because we love them together. They actually did look good together at that time. And, well, today he got married again. Yes. And after blogs that are, you know, releasing pictures and videos, he actually posted this on his page. And I say a very big congratulations to him. And like I said, you know, Twitter people did not leave them alone. Um, a lot of them had some not very nice things to say about the bride, you know, I'm not going to say it, but I just feel like sometimes love does not look at anything. You just love somebody because he gets you or she gets you. So I really don't know why people are just making a big deal at, oh, she looks like this. She looks like this. It's not you that is marrying the person. Now that Blossom is happily married. I pray that people will now leave Red Vigor, that is Maureen, his ex-wife, alone. Ah, talking about Maureen, she actually posted this on her social media page, um, saying, you know, people in her DMs, and she put that, you know, video of that guy that is laughing. I don't understand why she felt the need to respond to. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Celebrities so many times are wired differently because, I mean, so many sometimes silence is better sometimes you just pretend as if you don't care even if you might care oh, but she just don't show you care because all this one she's posting or she posted just makes it look very very silly well i don't know about you but that's what i think about this yes guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section on that note i say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed you know what to do kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl az williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead bye guys